Welcome to session FUT 1148, The Future is Bright with SUSE Manager, a SUSE Manager Roadmap. Today we're going to show the agenda. <laughs> and on the agenda we have some of the <laughs> some of the challenges that we think you might be facing. We're going to take a look back about what we delivered in uh, SUSE Manager 4.2. Then we'll look forward in, to SUSE Manager 4.3 plus retail, which is coming out in just a few weeks. Don will give you a sneak peek into what's coming up beyond 4.3. And then we'll talk about some use cases and success stories. But before all that, we're going to introduce each other. <laughs> Okay, I introduce ourselves anyway. I'm Stacy Miller. I'm the SUSE Manager Product Marketing Manager. And I'm Don Vosberg. I'm Outbound Product Manager for SUSE Manager. Thanks, Don. So let's look at the landscape. If you've been paying attention at all in the last few years, you've been seeing the rise of cybersecurity attacks or cyber attacks. Did you know that the annual cost of downtime that's tied to a cybersecurity attack is around $33.6 million? And recovering from one of those cyber attacks, if it's a business critical system, it could take upwards to 14 hours. That's a huge concern. We also know that infrastructure itself is getting more complex. Companies have mixed Linux environments. They're running on premises. They're running in the cloud. They're running in multiple clouds. We know that 79% of companies have a mixed Linux environment. And it's been reported that upwards to 90%, 89%, have a multi-cloud environment, and 76% of those companies are running in two or more clouds. That's a lot of infrastructure to manage and secure. And then there's just the cost of patch management. Downtime costs between 300,000 and 400,000 for every hour that a server is done. And manually patching servers, well, it leads to holes that cyber attacks can come into. And then there's just the manual, manual, manularity, that's not a word, but the manual aspect of patching. It takes a long time, especially if you have a large server farm. And it certainly can be error prone if you're not careful even if you are careful. And all that time that you're manually patching your systems, that's time that's not spent on innovative work for the business. So what's behind your seat? Well, we hope that you are running SUSE Manager because SUSE Manager really does manage it all. SUSE Manager is a true open source infrastructure management solution that is designed from the ground up to simplify and secure your entire mixed Linux environment. Wherever it is, if SUSE Manager can see the workload, it can manage it. It's designed to maintain that security that you bought into when you implemented your, ser your servers. It helps you ensure compliance. So when your compliance manager asks you, are your system healthy? Is your system healthy? You can say yes, and you can prove it. And it will help you keep your entire mix Linux environment compliant, current, healthy, with scheduling and automation on your terms, not on somebody else's. 
but on your terms. And where does SUSE Manager fit into the whole SUSE picture? Well, it fits into our business critical Linux environment, which helps you simplify and optimize your existing environment. It helps you counterattack that complexity that's growing in your infrastructure. And it helps you to keep that infrastructure secure. And if we drill down to business critical Linux, we can see that SUSE has purpose-built Linux OSs for different environments. So if you're running SAP HANA, for example, SUSE has a SLUS for SAP applications that's built for that environment. And if you're running on the edge, SUSE has a SLUS, the Sling Micro OS that's purpose-built for the edge environment. But regardless of Wesley you're running, SUSE manager manages it all. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Don so he can take you back in time and talk about what we delivered. Thanks, Stacy. SUSE manager is released on an annual basis and we still have support for SUSE manager 4.2, which has been our product that was introduced last year. And what have we been delivering already there? Improved automation. We did integration with Ansible for the first time where you can import control nodes, your playbooks and inventories and to use those inside of SUSE Manager to continue to keep your automation investment working for you. And you can reuse and run, run all those Ansible playbooks and leverage it with SALT's capability for scheduling. We've improved security and compliance by providing additional OpenSCAP content for both SLE and for other supported Linux environments, where you can automate that with SUSE Manager and see your scans. We've delivered integration with live patching with templates inside of that content creation power that is in SUSE Manager. So you can start with a particular system that's running a kernel and create filters so that only that kernel appears and the live patching that comes subsequently to that. So you can reboot far less often and control all of what is delivered in your SUSE manager server. So whether it's pre-production, production, QA, test, dev, you can create scaled environments that then the content migrates between those as you promote it over time to align with whatever patch cycles that you have defined in your environment. We've increased the mix of supported Linux clients, delivering clients binaries for them to connect to SUSE Manager, allow you to connect to them across a hybrid IT environment, whether that's in the cloud, on-premises, wherever they're located. So we've, we've continued to do that over time and 4.2 had significant ones. In SUSE Manager for Retail, we already delivered support for Sleep Pause 15 SP3, so a much newer one than older generations of Sleep Pause. We've improved offline operations with Hub and included support for ARM based Pause devices. So if you're developing point of service at the retail, with non-Intel based ARM solutions, SUSE Manager for Retail can accommodate that and delivering images that are appropriate and scaled right for those devices. Great, Don. I, do the engineers still like you? <laughs> well, they keep them busy, that's for certain. Um, and most of them still uh, look forward to to my presentations and uh, exclamations of joy. 
That's awesome. And, I, and I'm sure that they, feel, they find a sense of fulfillment with delivering some of this, this technology that customers are using and getting great use out of. Well, let's find out what's coming with SUSE Manager 4.3 that's uh, being delivered this June. Well, more, right? I mean, more automation. So we're going to be allowing you to automate your infrastructure, security, and compliance. We're going to allow centralized control and reporting at any scale from the smallest environments up through the largest environments. And we're going to do managing management of any Linux anywhere because we know that things are not getting easier. They're getting more and more complex. So the goal here is to give you more and simplify your life. Well, building on those themes that Stacy highlighted for us. Let's drill down and look a little closer. So we're trying to deliver additional system security. Our CVE audit tool actually allows you to connect directly to the Mitre.org summary or the SUSE patch summary for those particular vulnerabilities to give you more power in your decision-making capability on what exactly you're patching against. And we've we've provided additional patches that come from the same security, same certified software supply chain as SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. So as you're securing your environment, you also have the ability to automate that either on your schedule or using something like beacons and reactors to be able to automatically apply remediation across your environment. And of course, we inherit the security from the SUSE Linux enterprise that's embedded into SUSE Manager. uh, And it allows you to to also get new versions of Prometheus and Grafana so you can see your environment and monitor it better. Our automation tools uh, allow you now to run portfolio-wide reports. So with SUSE Manager 4.3, we have an enhanced reporting database uh, that allows you to see that and dig down deeper with your own querying tools if you require it. Uh, We can also match subscriptions with what you have entitlement to in SUSE Customer Center with what is registered to SUSE Manager. And centralizing control and reporting is highlighted by SUSE Manager Hub. SUSE Manager Hub infrastructure allows it to scale to much greater uh, breadth and number of clients using that uh, downward poking of centralized content. So I can create channels for repository. I can create operating system images and deploy those at scale down all the way to the registered clients. And interoperability has taken a big improvement with HTTP access. So previously it was XML RPC, which still exists. And now we have the ability to tie into additional third-party application and extension integration via HTTP. The hub is actually a hierarchical uh, construct where I have a SUSE manager server that I designate as the hub, and there I create content cha- content management. Uh, both my my repositories that my clients consume, and then I have the ability to selectively synchronize that downstream with that server layer. And those servers don't see each other. So it gives me the ability to essentially create a multi-tenant architecture because the individual SUSE manager servers can operate independently from each other. 
You can monitor with Prometheus and Grafana, which are very common open source tools. But in SUSE Manager, we have defined Grafana dashboards and the ability for you to deploy it easily with formulas to see all of the registered SUSE Manager clients and the SUSE Manager server itself and know whether it's healthy. And of course, we support Prometheus Federation where you can integrate and collect monitor data from multiple servers. Containerization is an important project for us. And with SUSE Manager 4.3, we're actually beginning to deliver with the SUSE Manager proxy server delivered in the form of containers. And you can deploy those in a Kubernetes environment or using Podman with services to be able to actually scale and simplify how that goes all the way out to the edge. So the containerization begins with that, and that gives you flexibility to deliver that in a cloud native format, whether that's in the cloud or at the edge. And it, and it uh, continues to show how SUSE Manager is adapting to future technologies. So it's not a requirement that you only do it that way, but is looking at the future to see what we might deliver in future. And I'll, I'll give you a, some more hints for that in a little bit here, but we're actually delivering that with the initial release of SUSE Manager. You will see proxy in the form of containers available for you to use. And of course, we continue to expand the number of Linuxes. This has been a commitment from the beginning for SUSE Manager to, to be able to not only manage SUSE Linux Enterprise, which we do really well, but add additional distributions as they matter to you, our customers, whether that be Oracle Linux, Rocky Linux, uh, other open Linux distributions like Ubuntu or OpenSUSE, they can be managed with SUSE Manager and all the benefits that we've seen in the previous parts of this distribution, this slide presentation are available for those clients as well. And you can continue to automate Linux server provisioning and patching uh, across a broad portfolio and wherever you need it to be. One of the cool things that you can do with SUSE Manager is in-place migration, not just for service pack migration, but for migrating from OpenSUSE to SLES and migrating major versions like from SLES 12 to SLES 15 using the provisioning part of SUSE Manager, where you can see a complete audit trail schedule it on multiple systems to happen on your schedule. So when you have 1200 SLES 12 systems, you need to get to SLES 15, shorten that project timetable with the power of SUSE Manager. Content staging is at the heart of what SUSE Manager delivers. So whether you have a pre-production, production, whether you have dev QA prod, whether you have test or confirmed, whatever you want to label them, that content lifecycle can be filtered. We provide very cool templates to quickly enable you to build filters to deliver, for example, SUSE Linux Enterprise Live Patching, or if you need to deliver for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and all the modularized repositories, Creating a filter based on that channel is as simple as clicking on the template and choosing the channel. And then, of course, you can test that content and migrate it between dev, and QA, prod, or whatever environments you need. SUSE Manager continues to deliver on-premises in multiple architectures. ARCH64, of course, is a very popular architecture these days. SUSE Manager can deliver 
for those kind of workloads or for IBM Power Z Systems mainframe, we can deliver in public cloud with images available for SUSE manager server and proxy on all the major hyperscalers, AWS, Azure, Google Compute. We continue to deliver for private cloud, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, build your SUSE manager server and proxy it in the environment where your clients are and get consistency of how it works everywhere. We've added to the portfolio of supported Linuxes, continuing our commitment to be distribution agnostic in our client support. So whatever Linux and distribution matters most to you, uh, we've heard from our customers and continue to deliver. And as you can see, we're forward looking with new distributions, uh, versions of those distributions that will be released in 2022. And you'll see those delivered in future updates to SUSE Manager as well. So what's coming next, Don? <laughs> what's going to happen beyond 4.3? Well, I can give you some look into some high level things and major themes that we're looking at because these are things that uh, the marketplace is definitely driving and you are driving as our customers, uh, continuing to manage compliance, not just to have patches that I know I can schedule to be delivered, but actually knowing whether I'm compliant to try to simplify things and manage that complexity that Stacy started us out with is a key thing that we want to keep doing with SUSE Manager. And obviously the growth, we have a number of customers who are managing a huge number of devices and we're listening and working with those as those environments progress and the number of systems that we can manage with SUSE Manager and deliver effectively the kinds of solutions all the way out to the edge. Uh, that edge is uh, a high growth environment where we're seeing lots of devices and pushing the smarts out there. And we want to continue to do that. Of course, security continues to be a major theme for us not just knowing that I am or am not secure, being able to maintain that security and deliver remediation through automation. And finally, flexibility is an important element for us, simplifying the consumption of SUSE Manager, potentially making the architecture part of what we are delivering as a solution with SUSE Manager as a service in future. Here's the roadmap of what we're doing. As you can see, SUSE Manager releases on an annual basis. And what we're delivering right now is 4.3, as we've highlighted already today. But our next version is going to be delivering SUSE Manager in a fully modularized slash containerized form. So you won't have to build out uh, an individual VM, uh, but instead run SUSE Manager as a set of containers on top of your Kubernetes or container world uh, and be able to make it more scalable so that then we can add additional modules to plug into that SUSE Manager in future. So that's coming the first rev of that will be next year in mid-2023, and there's your roadmap. So, Stacy, can you tell us about some use cases or what some customers are doing with SUSE Manager? Absolutely. So let's take a look at this, um, this case study. This is LOT Polish Airlines. LOT Polish, not airlines, or LOT Polish Airlines, they're kind of the, they're the flagship carrier for, for Poland and, and Eastern Europe. So they're kind of a big deal. They're also kind of looking at exponential growth. 
They're seeing rising costs, operational management, um, lots of um, lots of complex and inflexible management. They, they really need help to get themselves in line, to rein in some of those costs. And so they called in SUSE. SUSE was able to help them to make sure they had their PCI DSS compliance and their security in place with SUSE Manager. They were able to use SLUS and the flexibility of SLUS to run unlimited VMs to kind of rein in some of those costs that we talked about. And whoa, look at that. The TCO is going to be 30% lower. That's right. And with all that, they're still looking at a lower a lowering of TCO of 30%. And it only took them two weeks to deploy it. That's pretty cool. That's right. This next one is a new case study for us. It's Pole Employ, and I'm, I know I just butchered their name. Um, they are um, out of France and they are the, the website that you go to if you need employment. They serve, they have about 50, 55,000 agents that they work with. It's all internet based. So they have a real security need. Um, they have are managing more than 6,000 mixed Linux and mixed Linux instances. And because of their um, bringing people on board and bringing, you know, bringing companies on board and their, their mergers and acquisitions over the years, they had some fragmented processes and practices and some inconsistencies and lack of standards. They, they just needed to get their, their arms around. SUSE was able to come in with SUSE Manager. They were able to help them accelerate their patching across a large and diverse landscape. They don't have the numbers yet because they just implemented a few weeks ago. Um, but what they're seeing is that their management of their software repositories is incredibly simplified and they're seeing consistency and they're seeing um, standardization across their company that they didn't see before. Well, and it looks like they have better answers for their security team too, based on this quote. Absolutely. And the last company I want to talk about is a retail company, and this is Office Depot. And if you do anything in the if you do anything in the office, you know about Office Depot. And I was going to say in the U.S., but I think that they're worldwide. So if you do anything in the office anywhere, you look to Office Depot. Huge company, um, mixed vendor environment. Like everybody else, they were seeing an increasing rise of cyber attacks. They also needed to minimize their costs. They needed to get their their infrastructure simplified. This looks like they're doing cloud things too, huh? They, they're trying to move to a cloud first strategy because like all retailers, they're trying to get their brick and mortar store and their online stores in line. So it, it's one, one user experience. You know, it's all about customer first, right? They brought in SUSE and they they moved over to SUSE Manager. They saw, look at this done, 40%. 40%. 40% IT management costs. <laughs> and they were they're able to to push automated updates to their in-store servers, running more than 5,000 point of sales registers. So they're seeing a huge simplification of their data center management all by switching to SUSE Manager. That's awesome. Great story. So what else is going on at SUSE Countdown? Well, we have a whole wealth of information available to you, lots of sessions. And you probably, in fact, won't be able to attend these at their first offering but make sure you come back and watch the recording once these sessions are released because there's 
15 or so presentations that you'll want to absorb and take in and learn and enjoy uh, the expertise and breadth of what's being offered with these different sessions. We also have a number of SUSE Manager resources that you can find by going to our product page, for example. Uh, you can get a key to be able to install SUSE Manager in your test environment by going to this download page to set up a SUSE Manager where you want to. And you can connect to our open source project, the Upstream Uyuni community. This is the website here. Uyuni is the upstream for SUSE Manager. As we've pointed out, it's an open source tool. So you get to contribute. You can join in every month. On the last Friday of the month, we have a call for community hours. You can contribute code. We've had significant contribution for translations and for other ancillary things around, around Uyuni that can also be used on SUSE Manager. API scripts, um, profiles for being able to do provisioning. All of those things are there on Uyuni. Uyuni is a rolling release that's actually ahead development-wise of where SUSE Manager is. It runs on OpenSUSE, and you have the ability to test it and play with it and learn how to SUSE Manager might work without necessarily having to buy the subscription. But if you want to contribute, you're certainly welcome. And all those translations are enabled by default. So if you're uh, using a third, another language other than English, you might want to contribute some of those things as well. But Uyuni is available for you. The, the links are here in the presentation. And with that, we want to say thank you. Thank you for listening. Please reach out with your comments, questions, concerns, suggestions. Yes, thank you so much for paying attention. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you and meeting you at future conferences. Thank you. Mm -hmm.